Hey y'all. It has been a long, 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 long time. I'm so sorry. I have been thinking about making this video for like the last two or three months, but every time I think about it, I'm like four weeks past my retightening. It's in the middle of the night. I'm in a bed. I'm like, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. It never gets done. I'm finally doing it. All right. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. A lot has been going on. I'm actually out of town right now um, teaching. I teach for Kaplan, so I had a three-day review course for nursing students. So I'm out of town and I'm filming in like the hotel, my hotel bathroom. Um, so I said, I'm getting it done. I don't care, I'm getting it done. This low battery mode just came on. All right, so real quick, because I don't want this to be a long video, I just wanted to give you an update on my hair and what's been going on. I don't think, I think the last time I spoke to you, I don't even have braces. I've had these braces for like a, a year and like five months. And so the last time I had Invisalign, which I ended up having to get switched over because my bite never came together and my orthodontist was like, I'm tired of sending back these trays and getting them realigned. So we're just gonna switch you over to braces. So hopefully I'll be out of the braces in a couple of months. I'm praying for by my birthday, which is in July. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. That I just said that to say it's been a while, all right? Uh, I just got my hair retightened. I actually got it retightened last week, uh, and then I had to go back this week to get the finish the back half because my original retightening appointment, I wasn't paying attention to the date. I didn't look in the calendar when I made it. I just said, okay, this date sounds fine. I never followed up on it. And then of course, a week before my retightening, I look on the calendar, I'm like, oh crap, I gotta work this day. So I had to reschedule my retightening. Of course, he's all booked for like the next month, so my retirement ended up getting pushed back for almost four weeks. So he couldn't do me, he couldn't retighten everything because I had so much new growth and the three hour allotted time slot, so I had to come back. Um, but he didn't charge me, so I was, I was fine with that. He didn't charge me, I was thankful rather for that. Um, so I got half of it, like front half done last week and then I had to come back this week and get the back half. So some things that have been going on are some updates with my hair. I haven't had any more break offs since uh, my last video I posted. You guys know I was having some problems with like the front half of my hair breaking off for some reason. Um, like here was one of the ones that broke off. It was kind of like, and here's another one. They're all, you know, kind of like in the front that broke off. Let me just take, take my hair down. So if you guys saw the video, you saw that in the front half of my hair, like the first row or two, I was having thinning like midway down the shaft. It was basically holding on by like one or two strands of hair and then it would just break off. Um, and so these are the baby ones that, you know, broke off and have grown back since then. So they've grown back fine. Um, but since the last video I posted, I haven't really like, I still had a little bit of thinning spots, but for the last like six months or so, I haven't had any issues. And so I ended up moving. I'm no longer in Texas. Um, I got, got married y'all. Um, so I moved no longer in Texas and I found a new loctician. And so a couple of things that we've been doing differently that I've done differently, um, and that he has been doing differently that I noticed he, he does not, um, he does not tighten my hair as tight as my previous lactation. Um, my previous lactation, when she would do it, she would literally interlock it until it couldn't be interlocked no more. Like there was no new growth or anything, whereas my lactation now, when he does it and I leave and I feel my root, it's almost like he can probably interlock it maybe two more times. There's still some new growth there. Is it the, the, um, the retightening is not all the way to the scalp, which I appreciate because I don't have a headache for three days and I can manipulate my hair and it, and it doesn't hurt. Um, whereas my previous loctician, she did it tighter, which made my retightening look more polished um, because you can, you know, see my scalp and my grid better. Uh, but I don't know if doing it so tight put a lot of stress or strain on my hair and the follicles to where it was starting to thin out like it was. So I kind of appreciate both of them. I like the fact that the hair looked more polished. Um, but if, if it's, if it's, what is the word, altering the integrity or the strength of my hair, then I would prefer it not to be retightened so tight um, if it's going to make my hair more healthier. So, you know, it's kind of like, 
what do you want you want more polished look with your hair breaking off or do you want a less polished look with stronger locks um so i'll go for the latter um other than that i plan on getting my hair recolored next time i get retightened so if you guys followed me from the very beginning you knew you know that i had half of my hair in the back colored um and it has actually obviously grown out and so this is what's left over from the color and how much of the hair that has grown out i'll do a back shot so you guys can see uh, so i plan on going back and doing the same thing of, uh, with getting the getting the hair recolored um, the next time i go back the reason why i tend to do the back part of my hair is because i feel like it's stronger and i feel like it's healthier so to speak um, because of all the issues I had with the front half. And then when you look at the ends, I still have loose ends, y'all, on this front half. And it's been almost three years. It'd be three years in July that I've been locked. So this, when they say this is a process, this is truly a process. But if you look in the back part of my head, all of it's locked, all of it. So I don't know if it's because it's protected from the top and it's uh, when i um, have it pulled back i usually just pull back the top half and i don't really mess with the bottom half um one thing i stopped doing i no longer sleep with uh my hair tied up at night because i thought maybe tying it up was putting you know stress and the um, tension on the root up here so i stopped tying it up but i do sleep with the silk pillowcase so i travel with it it's here at the hotel I, you know when i go home i have two or three of them um so that's a, one thing i've done differently oh and i've also graduated to conditioners so i can use conditioners now i'm no longer on the um starter shampoo i still have some left over i'll you know use if i ever run out of shampoo but i'm back to using my favorites which is the trader joe's tea tree tingle uh, shampoo and conditioner um and then i also use a medicated shampoo um, when I shampoo my hair because I my my father has gifted me with seborrheic dermatitis Which is a genetic condition. It's like adult form of uh, cradle cap where you have um, Very dry skin. It's it's like lifting and peeling like big flakes um, so I use that um, Medicated conditioner which really helps although in Texas it was so bad I would have to wash my hair like every week and it would just itch 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 whereas here i noticed i can go a little bit longer without washing my hair i even went almost like three weeks without washing my hair but i wasn't working out because if i work out i have to wash my hair every day because with that i mean not every day every week because with me sweating and you know that you get that certain like sit in your hair mm -mm, that's not cute so <laughs> when i work out when i'm like heading to the gym i wash my hair every week but at that particular time I don't know what's happening. I think I was moving or I was just being lazy. I don't know. I just didn't go to the gym for almost a month. Um, but so that's it. You guys can see it's gotten thicker. Um, this is a process. You know, if this is something you want to do, obviously do your research. It is a time commitment. It's a money commitment. Um, so, but I love it. My husband prefers the loose natural. I mean, he likes this too, but if he could have his way, he would prefer. I don't know why my glasses keep doing this. I don't ugh. Anyway, he would prefer um, me all froed out. And sometimes when I see ladies and they have their, their, they're rocking their fro, I'm like, oh, I kind of miss my fro. I miss my loose natural. But then I think about the hour I would spend in the shower detangling it and separating it and twisting it and combing it out and doing the wash and goes with all the products. And I was just like, mm, no, I'm good now. <laughs> all I do is wake up, go about my business. Literally, I'll do this number you know flip it do something i might pull it back i might do my little pump do thing right here in the middle tie this up like this so to speak of course it's neater than that you know my little pump do with this down or i do my flexi rods and have it curled up for a week i actually have flexi rods when i got married so um anyway and then i just go about my business so i keep it simple I'm about that simple life uh, if you guys have any questions any comments shoot me you know something in my comment box and I'm gonna get my next video out when I have my next retightening and my color okay